The two-time defending WBL softball champions have a tall task ahead of them. Wapkinetis, that's about their three-peat quest with some young talent in key positions this spring. John Rawlings tonight has more with the Lady Skins as they continue to take the season pitch by pitch. The Wapakoneta Redskins are coming off back-to-back -back WBL titles for the first time in school history. I think it's kind of nice for the girls to actually have been there, done that, and it's great. But like they always say, it's harder every single year to defend your championship. Everybody's out to get you, and, uh, and that's okay. As they strive for a three-peat, the Redskins will have to do so without two All-State selections in Megan Fisher and Blasia Moyle. At first, I think we were definitely like... We're going to have to work a lot harder than we did last year. We're going to have to actually teach the kids that are coming up because they don't just have the experience that we had. Like a lot of our practices are more like fundamental based now, like to try to get everything like they are on the same page as us. It's a relatively green team as the infield consists of only one senior, but the underclassmen have been stepping up and are becoming more comfortable in their positions. We just had a freshman with a game winning hit, so that was really big for a confidence booster. We just need to keep growing. It's nice that these young girls, like I said before, are buying into the program and working so hard to get better. They understand what's at stake and they understand the reputation of what we we do and uh, and it's nice because uh, they're taking some pride in, in, in playing the game as hard as they possibly can to making sure that we are staying on top. In Wapakoneta, John Rawlings, your News Now Sports.